Facebook family and YouTube subscribers. Um, I was answering some emails this morning from you know, I get these I get some of the most craziest um, emails from all over, and a lot of people say that my posts and videos of offend them. So. And do, one guy asked, did I purposely write and do videos to offend people? Why, well, yes, of course I do. I purposely write my Facebook post and do YouTube videos to offend people. They are purposely politically incorrect. They are. I think sometimes we need to be offended. We need to be shook awake from our fantasy worlds in, in dreamland. We need to be offended, angry, mad by a lot of stuff. Because sometimes we just get carried away and allow some things just to fester in our society. Were you offended by that verdict yesterday? I mean, a few days ago in the Trayvon Martin, George Zimmerman murder trial? He should have been charged with murder. Of course you were offended. You were offended when you found out that the man had shot and killed that boy a year ago. Action only takes place when people are offended. If everything's going great and you're happy, you're not going to try to change it, right? If you're happy, things are going great, and everything's fine, and everything's hunky dory there's no need to try to change what's going on. But when you're offended, when you're mad, when you're angry, that's when you say something's not right. Something is wrong here, and we need to make some changes. Being offended is a good thing. We all need to stay offended every day about a whole lot of stuff. We live in one of the richest countries in America, I mean, in the world. One of the richest countries in the world. But look at all the homeless people that we have, especially here in Atlanta. They're just, I don't know about you guys, but when I see those guys, I'm so offended and hurt. What offends me is that no one else sees them. And we haven't put anything in place to help these individuals. A lot of those guys have mental issues and shouldn't be allowed to be out there on the street for their own safety. It's good to be offended. When I do these posts and talk about the black gay community, there's so much stuff going on in the black gay community that some of us either don't see, don't want to see, are we part of the problem? Anyway, it goes. I'm glad I have offended you guys, because we need to be offended, get up off our asses, and have a conversation about it. We'll never change anything until we start talking about it. First, we got to realize there's a problem, and then we can talk about it, and then kind of figure out well, how can we correct this problem if it's correctable. Being offended is a great thing. It gets you motivated. It gets you moving. It gets you to understand something that you might not have even seen before. I think a lot of religious people get caught up in their own religion, in their beliefs, in their own lives. I'm blessed! But what about your friends, neighbors, and family members? I'm blessed and highly favored as you get in your Mercedes and drive by all the homeless people on Peachtree Street. I'm blessed and highly favored as you pass all these mothers with little babies getting on martyr trying to get to some type of care for their children. Sometimes we can be a little bit too blessed and highly favored. Highly favored, not flavored. <laughs> When I hear people say how blessed and high, highly favored they are, 
I always kind of chuckle to myself because in essence they've set themselves on a pedestal and they say God has is anointing them with something special that he isn't giving anyone else. Does God work that way? Those people need to be offended. And if their day of offense is coming, you better believe that. When you walk around thinking that you're so high and mighty and you're better than other people, mm. well, God has a way of humbling you and opening your eyes to a different world. When a tow truck drags that Mercedes Benz away and that $300,000 house you're living in, you now see yourself in a homeless shelter. Now you understand what it means to be homeless without a car. The offended people live in a fantasy world. They don't live in reality. Until they have a car wreck. And then they realize that now their lives are drastically changed. I meet people all the time who are in wheelchairs, who were in great physical fitness just a few years ago and now because of one car wreck they're in a wheelchair and they're having to figure out their lives all over again I wonder how they're offended I hope that the purpose of my videos and posts are to get us to talk to communicate to understand each other to try to understand each other because we're all different people. Whether we black, white, gay, or straight. Sometimes we go into our own little worlds and close the door and we don't see the problems that are right next door. Or we don't see the issues which are right across the street. We could be in line at Kroger paying for our bounty full of food and not see the person standing next to us who can't even afford to pay for their night's dinner or oh, we need to be offended being offended will make maybe force us to look around us and see what's going on in the world that we truly live in everybody ain't so highly blessed and favored some people are having some tough times I think we all go through tough times now that I do believe that God will take you down a path for a reason. To open your eyes so you can see what's truly going on in the world in which we live. And I got injured and I ended up at Grady Hospital. I had never been to Grady Hospital. My eyes have been opened by so many people I've met, the doctors, the nurses, the patients. I've seen a whole other side of a world that I had never ever been into before. I would drive by Grady Hospital. I never had a need to really go. Maybe go visit a friend or a family member who was there, but I was never a patient there until recently. Laid up in that damn bed. Hmm. We need to be offended on a regular basis. To wake up from the fantasy. Jolted back to reality. About whatever it is. And it's a good thing. It makes our lives more richer and rewarding. Because we understand things differently. If you like my videos, please click like. I would love to hear your feedback on The Offended. And has being offended helped you in any way at all? To understand it's a situation that you may not have known about. Or understood. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great Wednesday, and I'm out of here. Oh, and stay offended. It's good for you.